Wow. This is such a beautiful day. It did rain a little bit. I've been stuck here for a while because it's been raining and I can't uh, I can get to town, but I wouldn't be able to get back. I'd be stuck in town. And that's, that's not good at all. And sometimes it rains for days. It just did recently. I thought I was going to be able to go to town today. I wanted to, but it just isn't going to work out. Um, Chewing takes too long. People say digestion begins in the mouth with probably saliva or something. Slices of apple are faster to eat. It's nice if somebody slices up your food for you. With a lot of kinds of fruits, I think. You know? And they should be an expert at it. Like the people who cut open pineapples should be pineapple cutting open experts. That's a great idea. In the morning you could have fruit platters. For the for the the meal of the day, the comida, you could have fruit platters. At dinner you could have fruit platters. Fruit is pretty cheap around here in comparison to some other places, and some of it's really easy to buy and store and serve. We want all those things. Not expensive, healthy rotating in season and then processing in some way like chopping it up but just doing minimal processing if it takes too much work it's not worth it you know so every fruit that there is should be evaluated uh, and this includes veggies you know do people eat carrot sticks would they do that they probably would and it's a good thing to be able to offer people especially if you can buy them in whole costales for cheap or grow them which we so far don't have great success with carrots and I think I know why but I'm not gonna say but it's obvious the other option with reducing chewing time because I don't like spending a lot of time sitting around eating is juice stuff juice stuff I think that's worth the electricity. Think about it. If you can make them pretty quick, you make the, like a verde, like they do in Aranga. We make our own version of a verde using the kinds of um, selected, we make a couple flavors, and uh, selected things that we provide, and we can have a variety of additives. If somebody wants like a protein powder or something, uh, you know, we should have a juice bar. Definitely. Now there is the problem that people could ingest too much sugar and with the fruit, you know. But if we make the drinks a little bit balanced, it's hard for them to do that. We're kind of pushing balanced food onto them. And then for other types of food, like we probably wouldn't juice broccoli. Maybe we would. I don't know. We should just brainstorm every possible juice we could make. Because I don't want to spend five or ten minutes eating this damn apple. I got shit to do. I can't talk when I'm doing it. But I'd like to eat two apples a day, maybe. Maybe I'd like to eat uh, two bananas a day. Bananas are really healthy, and they're pretty cheap here by comparison to other places. Avocado should be common, and I don't think that we should serve people whole avocados. We should have a place where they can buy them. If they think they can get benefit out of that, and but they buy not just one, I don't know, maybe that's fine. What do we care? My, my fear is that they're going to buy it, and then they'll leave it somewhere, waiting for it to be exactly the right ripeness, and then it will rot. That's because that's what happens to me. But, you know, not everybody else is me, and don't, they don't have my exact problems. 
but I sure do like guacamole. And so if a, if a place offered, you know, guacamole tostadas, maybe. Tostadas use grease. I don't like it that very much. Also, they break in your hand to piss me off. <clears throat> I don't know how we can serve avocado in a better way. I know that avocado toast has apparently become a thing. But I think we should brainstorm what we can put avocado on or how we can eat it. Now, I'll tell you, there was somebody here not that long ago, and she made, when, when avocados were in season and super cheap, I mean super cheap, you'd be shocked at the price. And she made really good guacamole. She would bring me this plate. I was disabled at the time. And it would have a variety of lumps of stuff on it, like some eggs. Uh, I forget what else, but I don't forget the avocado. And I'm talking generous portion of avocado. Like maybe made with a whole avocado or two avocados. But it's got, you know, tomato in there and stuff. And really good. I don't know what her recipe is. I should ask her. But, uh... I think we can arrange the food system to promote healthy eating. And there's like a bunch of ways we can do this. You tell me your ideas, but I got plenty. And that's by basically providing for free food in a certain way. Just like an all-inclusive resort would do. Everybody here is theoretically funded somehow, either by themselves or donations or some kind of sponsor. Uh, sponsors of products that we like could even send representatives down here. Now, you know, that would make more sense for some sponsors more than others. Like if it was a headlamp company or camping gear or a tent, if we had a bunch of those tents and they were sponsoring us, you know, but people could send people down. But, we provide such an attractive food system for them that they don't have to think about it. I would rather people not be cooking in their camp. Even the idea of covering a, pot a potato in tin foil and putting it in the coals of a fire bothers me. We can't make tin foil here. What the fuck is tin foil? You know, that's just garbage then. We build systems that keep on working. And my fear is if people cook their own food, they're going to produce garbage. And they will. And we should catalog it when they do. And I should warn them how not to. You know, like um, when they go to the butcher to buy meat, what if they brought their own container? That gets rid of a plastic bag. They could grill their meat. That's pretty easy. There shouldn't be a lot of waste produced, I don't think, in grilling meat and things. And that's one of the systems that will be more decentralized. People will be on their own to eat their own meat because it's not part of our main food system. So that's the number one food that will get cooked in other places. We should also set up a grill, a nice grill, for grilling vegetables. They taste good. And there could be marinades people put on them. And that could be a separate kitchen that is publicly accessible. And it's created for one purpose. And it has really nice skewers you can use. And uh, it's got a nice table, nice roof. And you've got a charcoal that you use to barbecue vegetables. And no meat's allowed at that particular spot. This will make the vegetarians very happy. This way the vegetarians don't get left out of the barbecue. See how much I'm looking out for vegetarians? Very nice of me. Um, that's a bright idea, actually. Set up a special grill. Parks that could do that in the United States or around the world. They could Anywhere that has grills could have a veggie-only grill. That's brilliant. But we mainly want to seduce people into eating healthy because that's what's there and it's excellent. Breakfasts are figured out. I got that. I know how to do breakfast. There will be no ideas and changes. But uh, basically I know what I provide. And I can seduce people up to the sunrise, you know. 
um, the main kitchen and the lodge and a, a real kitchen. I, I did a video about that today. I don't know everything about that. I need help with that. Uh, the lodge can be fixed up temporarily. After that, we need to build a real kitchen and it needs to be great. Talked to Cheryl a lot about today, a lot about a lot of things. Too much. It's getting chilly out. My battery's almost dead, so goodbye. Thanks for hanging out. I made a series of videos about types of projects here, but I need to make a few more with some other ideas, uh, some of them specific ideas and some of them talking about the general topic area of that type of project, like architecture we didn't talk about. It's a really big topic. I think more likely it would be better on that one if I just focus on what the near-term priority projects are and then I can make a different one that talks about the big picture, which I think I've already talked about some. So, um, Anything you want to know about, ask me about, uh, that's fine. Um, there's a oh, dog rescue video I need to make. How I rescue dogs. I don't rescue 50 dogs, by the way. I got five dogs and two visitors. So I'll try and make a video about that. Um, I don't think I really have made the right ones about energy use. Uh, I need to make a video about people visiting here right now in 2021 and how that's going to work, what that looks like. I have a guy that wants to visit this weekend. I've got another guy that wants to visit this weekend or he's going to arrive at sometime around the same time and I need to figure out how to have kitchens that, were, that are separated from people so people can cook their food and eat it uh, separate. I have a very simple kitchen. I can make a kitchen in this cabana over here, this uh, cabin. I can make a kitchen in a cabin over there. I can finish those two cabins and have kitchens in there. I can separate people out so that they're physically distanced and then set up chairs so people can talk to each other, but they're far enough apart and they're outside that they don't spread disease. I do believe in COVID. It makes me nervous that people want to come here who don't believe in it, you know, and you know, I had to really talk with this guy and be really clear, I'm socially distanced. Can you respect that? Because some people are really pissy about it. Like if you're making your own choice not to be close to someone, I don't have to be close to anybody. I don't going to hug anybody. I don't going to touch anybody. I never did. And so me wanting to be socially distant is perfectly okay. And you make your own decisions, you know, and you could not come here if you think I'm an asshole. But I'm not a vax guy or an anti-vax guy. I'm a guy who makes my decisions and I do control, you know, what happens to me in my own space. And so uh, anybody who comes here has to be respectful. I'm respectful to other people. And uh, I should make a whole, a whole video just about COVID. That's important. Got to go. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye.